Hey everyone, welcome to Two Minutes Pi. Today, we're diving into a topic that often causes a bit of confusion for Python developers, the reverse method and the reversed function. Stick around, and by the end of this video, you'll have a solid understanding of when and how to use each. All right, let's kick things off by talking about what they do. The reverse method is used to reverse the order of elements in a list in place, meaning it modifies the original list. On the other hand, reversed is a built-in function that returns a reversed iterator of the given iterable without modifying the original sequence. You now understand that these functions essentially reverse processes on the sequence, but you may be wondering how they differ from one another. The reverse method is a member of the list class, so it can only be used with lists. It doesn't return anything. Instead, it reverses the list in place. On the flip side, reversed is a built-in function that can be applied to any iterable, not just lists. It returns a reversed iterator, which can be converted back to a list or used in a loop. Let's walk through a quick example to illustrate the difference. Imagine we have a list of numbers that we want to reverse. Now, when we use the reverse method on the original underscore list, in this case, the reverse method is called directly on the original underscore list. The reverse method modifies the list in place, meaning it changes the order of elements directly within the existing list. After the reverse operation, the original underscore list is updated, and if you print it, you'll see the elements in original underscore list are reversed. Let's look at what happens when the function is reversed. In this case, the reversed function is applied to the original underscore list. The reversed function returns a reversed iterator, but it does not modify the original list. To get a reversed list, we convert the reversed iterator to a list using the list function. So, the original underscore list remains unchanged, and if you print both, you'll see. The original underscore list retains its original order, and the reversed elements are stored in the reversed underscore list. So, when should you use reverse, and when should you use reversed? If you want to reverse a list in place and don't need the reversed elements as a separate entity, go for reverse. On the other hand, if you want to keep the original list unchanged and need a reversed iterable, opt for reversed. I hope this clears up the confusion around reverse and reversed in Python. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon. Thanks for watching, and as always, keep coding!